guys, it's Ty with Ty the Dog Guy on the daily. And I want to talk about giving your dog a job. Now, I'm all in favor of it. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. But I think it's something that's been misunderstood for a little bit. Um, and let me back up a little bit and define what I'm talking about. I get a lot of folks that say, well, I got this Border Collie and I know he needs a job. Or I've got this German Shepherd, I know he needs a job. And, and I think this started, you know, um, Cesar Milan, I think he's, uh, he's big on teaching about, I, I think he is, correct me if I'm wrong, but big on teaching about dogs need a job. Um, and I think other dog trainers, and anyways, I think it's kind of entered into the cultural, like, you know, vernacular that to give a dog a job is an important thing. So like I say, I think it is. I think it's wonderful, and I think we should be looking to do that. But what I, I find people... Um, get confused about is a lot of folks want to give a dog a job in place of training so it's not uncommon that you know someone will will call and and maybe they've got a border collie or an Australian Shepherd so these are two dogs that do agility a lot right you know and, and can often excel at agility and so people will say you know he's got this aggression that we've got to deal with so I'm trying to decide like do we go with you and do training or do we like get him into agility so he's got a job and so the, the misunderstanding that people are starting to have is that, uh, that it's one or the other, that giving a dog a job will solve a problem. Now, can it? Yes, to a degree. Um, but usually the only way that it will is if that job is like all-encompassing. So, so if you've got like a, a herding dog, you can't go to herding class, you know, once a week and think that's gonna solve your aggression problem. Like if you were to say, okay, we're gonna go live on a farm and the dog's gonna herd every day, like that that could potentially solve a lot of problems, to be honest. But like I say, um, you can't expect that like, all right, um, we're gonna get into agility and that's gonna solve all my problems. We're gonna get into herding, that's gonna solve my problems. Or we're gonna do canine nose work and that's gonna solve all my problems. Again, I'm all in favor of those. I think those can be a part of the solution, but problems tend to reside in a dog's mind, in a dog's body, in a in a dog's home, because of a lack of understanding of rules, a lack of understanding of leadership, a lack of understanding of um, you know the skill set of how to be calm, things like that. Um, and so, generally speaking, solutions to a lot of problems for dogs with high energy or dogs with high drive is fixing leadership, fixing mindset, fixing um, you know fixing how the dog thinks and how the dog perceives their world. And then as icing on the cake is to give a dog a job. Because the reality is every day, you know, we solve dog problems without giving the dog a job. It's not a necessity in, in most cases. Some cases it kind of can be, but in most cases it's not a necessity. We can solve it through fixing those things. But if someone's going to do those things in addition to, um, uh, in addition to giving the dog a job, agility, protection training, uh, hurting, canine nose work, things like that, oftentimes that's an awesome one-two punch. Um, so absolutely go out, do it, find your dog a job, but first, before you get into that hunting, hurting, etc., make sure that you've taught the dog how to perceive the world in a way that's conducive towards um, being happy, calm, obedient, uh, well-mannered, things like that, and you're going to be in much better shape for doing it.